Right, so I'm going to do the third version of the pouring medium. And this is one I've not done at all. Um, so this is their pouring oxidant medium. So it's an oxidizing medium and it's meant to be using with their oxidizing products, their rust and their copper patina. So Fleur do a real copper paint that you um, can you know, paint on any object that you want and you then use their copper oxidizing product which is basically like a reactor so you know say you've painted an old vase in copper it's got real copper um, filings in it you then can spray sponge paint on whatever you want the reactor and then you watch it turn into that beautiful blue so that's the activator rather so right you can use this copper reactive paint with one of their pouring mediums. Interesting, eh? So we have here their pouring medium for oxidizing products. I don't know why I can describe it. I keep reading these things back from front. And they suggest that you also use one of your matte paints with it. I'm going to just use black. I couldn't think what other color to go with it um, because you've got copper and blue, you know, the greens and everything. Right, I've, you know, I thought, oh, I know, I'll just do black with it because it's sort of. Um, neutral isn't it right okay so you mix this i'm reading my instructions over here one to one now i'm going to mix them separately and then i'm going to put the copper and the reactor together i'm not actually sure if that's the way you meant to do it um but i don't know oh this is different so this is i'm going to give it a bit more of a i think i'm going to stir it actually this is quite it's a bit more jelly like than all the other mediums that i've used today so I'm going to pour some into the black. It's one to one. So I'm measuring this really precisely here, as you can see. And with the reactor. So I'm going to give them a really good stir. Yeah, this doesn't really want to mix. Quite interesting. So that's, I'm mixing it with the black. I'm going to mix it with the copper. Quite interestingly, you know. You can see how liquid it all is. I feel like that wants to sit for a minute. That's really separating in there. <laughs> um, and then this is the, what I call the copper activator, mixed with the pouring medium. Right, I'm gonna give, um, as I've done with all the others, I'm gonna give this a quick coat of varnish. Now, I've been doing this wet. Maybe I shouldn't have been. Maybe I should have waited for this to dry. I actually don't know. And the reason that we do this is two reasons. One, uh, we want a slippery surface to give the pour as much help in moving as possible. And the other reason is you want um, your absorbent surface to be sealed because you might get air bubbles come up through. Okay, so, right. Now. <laughs> Read my instructions here. Mix the colours with the pouring oxidant medium in a one-to-one -one ratio. Apply the mixture to the surface using the pouring, you know, whichever the um, method of mixing. Oh, pouring method. I'm getting tired now. So you can have like concentric circles, lines. You can, you know, do your flip cup thing. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I think I'm just going to go for it. I think what I'll do is I'll do it in like a sort of the pouring circles so that we can see whether or not, um, you know, we'll get the differences in activation. Right, so I'm going to start with the black. They suggested using a matte colour with it and I thought, well, black, can't really get any more ordinary than that. Okay, so I'm going to do it in a spiral. So this is like, oh, this is quite thick. You see, that's almost like a bit lumpy. Okay. Right, now I'm going to do the copper. So these have all been mixed with the oxidant pouring medium. Probably pronouncing these things all wrong because there's a lot of separation going on in here. Okay. But at the same time, quite liquidy. Okay, right, I'm going to do the same thing. Wow. Okay. I kind of want it to keep it separate from the black. And then we're going to do some up here and some down here. Okay, now next, 
This is the reactor that we usually work on top of the copper to get that lovely bluey green patina. This is mixed with the pouring medium too. Oh, right, okay. So I'm gonna sort of, I think I'll go over the copper a bit. I've no idea what I'm doing here at all. So what we're hoping for is that we're gonna get this nice, interesting pour, but we're also gonna get a reaction going on with the copper and the copper activator going on yet it does even when i use it you know just the two on their own it does take a few minutes but the copper has a reaction a lot quicker than um the rust because you can do the same method with the rust i will do it i may, may or may not film it i'm not sure yet All right well the black isn't moving much at all which i think maybe maybe with the black it's too thick it felt like it was who knows? Let's see. <laughs> I'm actually going to get a stick and I'm going to stir it. Because I feel this black is too thick. So I'm going to disturb the black. What harm can that do? Who knows? So I'm not seeing any reaction going on yet between the copper. So what I might do... I'm going to mix up a little bit more of the reactor with the, right, okay. And well, they call it regent, but, uh, reactive, or oh, regent for verdigris, because this copper effect is a verdigris effect, okay? But I'm going to mix a little bit more of that up and mix it with a bit of the pouring medium. I really don't know if that's how you're meant to do it. The instructions aren't that detailed. Fine, we'll see. Put a bit of the pouring medium in. Nope, no reaction. <laughs> what I could do, the other option is, I was just thinking, I could um, spray some of the activator on. You don't know. Right. This will probably be one of those ones, and I've done this before with the uh, rust. You're kind of like, mm, I ain't done much. Go home, come back the next day, and it's amazing. So I'm hoping that that's what's going to happen. <laughs> but what I might as well do is I might as well. Oh my goodness, this is just a mess. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Really weird. That black is almost stopping it from moving. It's really bizarre. Okay, is that the right black? Yeah, that's the right one. So I don't want to contaminate anything. Right, I'm going to get the hairdryer on this. Sod it. Let's see what happens. What have I got to lose? Right, I'm just going to give it a bit more of a stir 
And then I think I'm just going to set it to one side. Uh, what I will try doing is I'm going to try and spray some of the medium, the you know, the reactor over the top. Who knows? I feel like it's a bit mixed too much where, you know, I wanted to probably a bit more. So what I'll do, let's pour some more of the copper over the top. And see what happens. I'm actually just going to drip some little bits of copper over the top using my very uneco friendly straw. Some straw. I'm going to drop some real copper over the top. It's not working. <laughs> right, it's so thick. Well, that's not working either. Right, okay. I am going to get this I'm going to put it in a little spray bottle and I'm going to squirt it on and I'll come back later and show you what's happened with this they don't always work 